Hi, in the last lesson, we talked about the instantaneous acceleration vector. Just to recap the main points, the instantaneous acceleration vector is defined as the rate of change of the position of an object in a given direction. In other words, the instantaneous acceleration vector is given by V equal to dr divided by dt, which means that V is measured in meters per second. And uh, just so you should be aware, the instantaneous velocity or the instantaneous velocity vector is a vector, which means that it has both a magnitude and a, a direction. Think about this scenario. You are sitting in a car on a beautiful day and you're driving along a road with a speed limit of about 70 miles per hour. And so you press on the gas pedal and the car accelerates, it speeds up. Essentially what is happening is that the speed of the car or the velocity of the car is increasing with time. So whenever the velocity of a car changes, it accelerates. Let me say that again. Acceleration is the change in the velocity of an object or a system in a given direction divided by time. So we will define a quantity called average acceleration. Average A average is defined as change in V divided by change in T. This means that the unit the SI unit of A will be meters per second divided by seconds, which will become meters per second squared. It is crucial for you to understand this, that the average acceleration of a moving object is a vector quantity meaning that it has a magnitude and a, a direction. But what is the direction of average acceleration? Since delta t is always greater than zero and there is a number, which means that it has no direction, the direction of A is equal to the direction of delta V. In other words, the direction of average acceleration is simply the direction in which the velocity changes. It is not the same as the direction of V. It is the direction in which the velocity changes. Take for example, you, you throw an object upwards. Let me demonstrate this. What happens? As this object goes upwards, the direction of V is upwards. But the direction of change in V is downwards. So even though the direction of V is upwards, the direction of acceleration is downwards. How do I know? Keep in mind that delta V is V final minus V initial. So if you have an object going upwards, what happens, this is V final, 
this is V initial, automatically you see that V initial is greater than V final because it is slowing down. Therefore, the change in V, which is V final minus V initial, will be less than zero. That implies that the acceleration of the object will be pointing downwards. So this is a good example to show that the acceleration and the velocity are actually in opposite direction. So you should really beware not to equate the direction of A with the direction of V. The direction of average acceleration is equivalent or equal to the direction of change in velocity, not the, not the direction of velocity. Um, the last thing that I would like for you to notice is the fact that <coughs> A is change in V over change in T, which is going to be change in X over, sorry, change in VX. change in Ti plus change in Vy over change in Tj 